What up, folks? It's Alex here, and today we're talking about the brand new Voice Isolation. Hmm. All right, enough of that nonsense. Today, as mentioned, we're talking about the brand new feature within DaVinci Resolve Studio 18.1, and this is the Voice Isolation tool. Now, I do say DaVinci Resolve Studio. This is limited to the paid studio version of DaVinci Resolve. It's not available within the free version. So what is it? Well, it's a brand new, incredibly easy to use tool, which uses the built-in AI stuff within DaVinci Resolve to isolate human voices and then get rid of all the other noise. And as you've just seen, it works remarkably well. Now, within the release information, it does say this specifically works on human voices. It doesn't work on anything else, really. It's designed to pick up human voices and get rid of the rest, so it won't allow you to isolate other sounds and other stuff. It will work on mono and studio tracks, it's easy enough, and you can apply it from the cut page, the edit page, or the Fairlight page. Now, obviously, me being lazy, I'm gonna to stick to the edit page. It's incredibly easy to use, so let me show you exactly how using some more realistic, sensible examples. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve Studio 18.1. Now, the first example is just this little vlog, and if I hit play... We're in Eugene, in Oregon, for Resolve Cut. As you can hear, there is a bit of background noise. It's not too distracting, but it's definitely there. So we want to get rid of that by using the voice isolation. All we need to do, give it a click. You need to make sure your audio is selected. I've got both links, so I can just give that a click. In the inspector, top right-hand corner, we've got the audio tab. Open that up, and then within here, we've got these. There's actually two new things. I'll talk about the dialogue leveler another time. We've got voice isolation. All we need to do, click the little switch to toggle that on, and now voice isolation is turned on. Now, there's a simple slider. These are the only controls you get. It's zero to 100, and then if we just play this again, Eugene, in Oregon, for Resolve Cut. Yesterday was a ridiculously long day, but we're here. And as you can hear, there's no background noise whatsoever. You do get a little bit of compression, a little bit of sort of artifacting when it's set to 100 in a really noisy environment. And for me personally, I don't want it to look like I'm walking around in silence. So what you tend to do is just bring this down. So let's go with about 20 and we'll play this. Cut. Yesterday was a ridiculously long day, but we're here. And now my voice is just more pronounced, but you can still tell I'm outside. There's a little bit of ambient noise. It just sounds a little bit better. And that's literally all there is to it. Dead simple. Let me give you another quick example and then another quick tip, which I'll probably use this for when doing, well, basically all of my videos. So this example here is in a cafe. Hey. Hey. And as you can hear, it's quite loud. So let's see how this does. We'll give the audio a click because these aren't linked, so I need to specifically select the audio. Voice isolation, we'll hit play. Hey. Hey. It's done a pretty good job. It's picked up some other people's voices as well, but it's helped isolate our voices really nicely. Again, I probably wouldn't want 100. I just want our voices to stand out a little bit. Hey. Hey. Maybe go even further, but that's a pretty good test. Now I'm just gonna toggle these voice isolation tools off really quickly. I generally have a voice track. I'll have one of my audio tracks will be purely for voice, and then I put sound effects and music on other tracks. So what you can do, give your audio one track a click in the inspector, audio, the voice isolation is available within here, so you can just toggle this on. So this means you don't need to individually be selecting it for all of the clips, any audio that you put on this track will have the voice isolation applied. The downside to that, it is one setting for all of them, but it's nice and quick. If you've recorded all of your audio from a single source and you're just going to different locations, it'll probably work quite well. And there you go. Now, while messing with this, I had one other idea. Does it work for music? Can you extract the vocals from a song and get rid of everything else? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, you can. It works quite well, actually. So, uh, yeah, let's have a listen. So I'm gonna turn it off for the entire track and we've got this song over here. So let's just hit play. We'll turn it on. This is, let's go for Max. You'll find me swimming in the dark, where's my mind? I threw it in the back, just leave. There you go. Voice isolation, DaVinci Resolve 18.1, studio, paid only. Thanks for watching, take it easy, I'll catch you next time.